Hello everyone and welcome to week four of the course. This week we will discuss uh, goal setting and what kind of goals um, will best fit you either a long-term or a short-term goal and let's get this started. So why is this course important? Some of the reasons are because college students are most likely to be more successful in college if they take a similar course to this one. College can be challenging and this course can help them deal with frustrations and success of college. And also you will set goals for your own college experience. College experience why is college so important to society, right? So higher standard of living, level playing field for everyone, preparation for leadership roles, and preparation for graduate or professional programs. Also keep in mind that there are certain programs that require students to have certain prerequisites for a program. So for example, if students want to go to medical school, they are required to take certain sciences. And that's just one example of many as to why we are expected to go to college. I'm going on to the next slide, uh, which is continued. Developing valuable skills such as critical thinking, Time to take risks, learn new things, meet new people, social networking, experiences that will help you define and achieve your purpose. And I am a strong believer based off these, given that many of the friends I met in college, I have now as friends, and many of us are professionals with degrees and professions as well. Okay, so your turn, right? So I just kind of want to give you a few seconds in terms of what does the American dream mean to you, okay? And what is your definition of success? And we all have different definitions, very similar, of course, but different because it's our interpretation, right? So mine may vary from yours as well. So just take a moment and just reflect what is the American dream to you. Okay. Going on to the next slide. Outcomes of college experience. So you want to become professionally marketable. Accumulate knowledge. Make better decisions. Grow through interacting with people from different from yourself, gaining self-esteem and self-confidence, become more future-oriented, tend to your personal wellness, earn more money from students that do not attend college. And I believe many of these, if not all, are very important reasons and outcomes to go to college. There are certain opportunities in college that perhaps myself wouldn't be able to take advantage of if I had not attended college. So keep that in mind. You want to enjoy being a student. Okay. And there's earning potential. People like to talk about money. So this is a chart that describes in 2016 what was the unemployment rate for based off educational level, and also the weekly salary based off that level. Of course, right now, due to the pandemic, uh, these numbers may not reflect as they did, but typically, the more education you have, the better earnings you make. Also, let me clarify, it doesn't necessarily mean you'll become rich but in terms of having that flexibility, okay? And 
doing something that you love. This is what I was referring to, long-term and short-term goals. Long-term goals are objectives that set for yourself for years from now or a lifetime. So it is important because it gives you direction. On the other hand, short-term goals can be set for an hour from now to the end of the semester. So steps needed to accomplish long-term goals. So you can take short-term goals to get to your long-term goal. And keep in mind, there needs to be a balance between academic and personal goals. And we also talk about SMART goals. What are SMART goals? Are specific. You need to be very specific on what kind of goal you want to achieve. Measurable. Are you based off how are you going to measure this goal? Realistically, did you accomplish this goal? Attainable, relevant, so you want to have a goal that's relevant to you, correct? You do not just want to throw out a goal out there that may perhaps not be attainable. And also the timeline that you want to set yourself. And I think that's very important to have because you want to keep yourself on check, correct? And once again, these goals turn into a bigger goal. Guidelines for setting goals. Be specific as to what you want. Ensure your goal is achievable. Also, is it your goal? Because sometimes we tend to confuse what is our goal versus the goal that is being set for us. Why does that goal matter? Right, so you also want to take into account, is this goal really what I need? Identify difficulties that you might encounter. And this is important because there will be challenges, especially within a goal. But if you have the right guidelines and mentality, you'll be able to achieve that goal. And what is the goal that is next after this. Example of SMART goals. There's intermediate goals. I will earn a 3.0 GPA for this semester. I will arrive 10 minutes early to every class for this semester. I will do my homework during the break between my classes every Monday and Wednesday. I will lose 10 pounds by December 15, 2014 by walking 30 minutes five days per week and eating only three desserts per week. And that seems very commitment oriented. Also keep in mind that it is just more than academics. There's a personal goal here as well. So another example of SMART goals, daily tasks, so these are short term. I will read and highlight the main ideas and important details on pages 116 through 126 in my history text immediately after class today. Today, I will make an appointment to speak to my math professor about tutoring options. I will spend 30 minutes quizzing myself using study cards I created for my sociology class right before going to sleep tonight. I will meet with my study partner for an hour today to write possible test questions for our next biology exam. And I will eat five fruits and or vegetables today. These are just some examples of short-term goals. You want to also keep consistent and realistic goals. And organizing goals. Maslow's hierarchy makes a good template for setting personal goals because it breaks things down into categories 
and because it demonstrates that fulfilling the needs and goals can be a long-term process. For example, the basic physiological needs that we have can be satisfied fairly and easily. An example is if you're hungry, you eat something. The most important goals, on the other hand, are the ones on the top that can be hard to reach. Moreover, successfully achieving them could possibly require achieving the other goals along the way from the bottom to the top. And this is just an example here. Physiological, um, the hierarchy is the bottom level below. So breathing, food, water, sex, sleep, etc. After that on top is safety, body, employment, resources, morality, family, health. On top of that is love and belonging, friendships, family, sexual intimacy. After that is esteem, which is self-esteem, confidence, achievement, respect, and other respect from others, and self-actualization, which is morality, creativity, spontaneously, problem solving, lack of prejudice, and acceptance of facts. Keep in mind, these are all based off the hierarchy. Um, once again, going from the bottom to the top. And you can see um, building your own hierarchy. And it's achieving of meaningful um, satisfaction based off Maslow's places on the top of the hierarchy refers to self-actualization, which is the fulfillment of a person's potential or realization of their desires. This is a long-term goal that drives almost every living person. And strengthen goals like acquiring material, wealth, might make a person feel like they are satisfying some social expectation. But it doesn't usually correspond with self-actualization or internal desire. This is what makes the goal setting and organizing so tricky understanding the motivation and where it belongs in your hierarchy. And once again, you can see the hierarchy here again. That's something that you do want to practice. And just going back to you. So write five reasons why you decided to go to college at this time in your life and share and compare those with your classmates. And do you have any similar reasons? Um, this will be part of the discussion board, as well as the following question, which is what are the challenges that are facing in college? How may you overcome them and these challenges in the future and brainstorm ideas for the front of classmates? This one sounds a bit familiar than from the previous, but I will include it. And if you feel like you want to add something new to the discussion board, then you're more than welcome to. This is the lecture for the week. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Also, please refer to the next video about educational planning. We will begin planning for your educational slash career goals by next week. Okay, hope everyone has a good week.